Hello, my fire signs. Leo, Aries, Sage. Just got back from a class. <laughs> um, only take what resonates, leave the rest. Don't make it fit. If it doesn't fit, know that rules can be reversed. If I say it's you, it could be your person. And if you'd like to purchase a personal read, rootsandrewards.com. I take Cash App, PayPal, and Venmo. I do talk a little naughty, so if you get offended, just find your way out of the read. Come again another day. All right, so I did a pre-shuffle here for you guys. Oops. All right. Let's cleanse the energy out. All right, put your hand to the screen. Hold on. Ooh. All right. Put your hand to the screen. Only send over positive energy towards me. Any and all others will be rebooked and sent back. All right, let's see what deck we're going to be working with today. All right. Black and white deck. Let's see what goes on. Let me say my little prayer. Let me get started. fire signs how we doing how we feeling hope you had a good week all right so the cards that came out are the young in reverse time to go 45 the first 34 a leg up all right so right off the bat what I felt with this was you're needing to clean up your energy. I think you guys have been sitting in your masculinity, uh, the distorted masculine. So being in some of your wounds, being in the ego, and you're just need, needing to release control, surrender the narrative, surrendering, needing to control other people. And it's time to, you know, move away from that energy. It's time to move forward and get a leg up on things. So coming out of this deep freeze that you've been in and going towards a little bit more softer energy. When I see polar bears, I just feel like, you know, feminine energy, softness, cuddling, um, coddling, you know. Uh, coddling yourself, needing to embrace other people maybe a little bit more. And then it's time to release negativity, which I see that with the yang energy being in reverse. Releasing negativity, a time to give rather than take. So that connects with the polar bear, needing to soften up, like taking a softer approach, not so harsh, not so brutal. Uh, you could be connecting with a Virgo. So it's time to give, then receive, rather than take. So maybe you guys have been taking way too much from people. And you're needing to give back Scorpio Libra energy. And a new romantic cycle begins. So we're going to see what that's, that's about. So I feel like you might be getting a leg up in a uh, re romantic partnership. We're going to see what goes on we're going to pick from a lot of different decks new romantic cycle libra energy okay i had energy before i started pressing record and now that i pressed record i feel like somebody got a nudge you to keep you awake so maybe i don't know somebody's falling asleep on you during sex or you're getting bored. Getting bored where you're at. Seven of Cups. Getting bored with your options. Um, bored of maybe your your false narratives. These illusions. Scorpio. The magician. And the Empress. 
So I feel like you guys are going towards this master manifester energy. You're becoming the magician. You're becoming this empress. You're knowing what you bring. You're knowing what um, that you don't have to um, overexert yourself to get what you want. You're seeing past the illusions of people that want to try to manipulate the empress. So you're asking for your power back. You're gathering your power and you're rising as the phoenix here. Getting into that motherly energy, whether you're a man or a woman, you're getting into that femininity. You're getting into that softness. You're getting into that energy where you can talk and express yourself and show your vulnerability. So I feel like you guys probably have multiple options here, but you're trying to manifest an empress or an emperor, uh, somebody that matches your energy, somebody that's a very good mother, a good father. Uh, they nurture themselves, nurture people around them. They know how to manifest. So you could be manifesting a Taurus, Libra energy towards you. Fortitude. Leo energy. You may have a daughter. I think you're going to have to let your pride and ego go a little bit here. I think you got to put it down. Like if you're a woman that sits in masculinity, you have to soften up. Or if you're a man that sits in distorted masculinity or too much femininity, you have to, you know, uh, stand up. I feel that you guys are doing that. You're taming the beast here. Aim in the beast. The four of wands. Okay, so there's that new romantic partnership that comes in. Success. Sacred connection. Could be a Virgo. Three of Cups. You could start as friends with this person. Starting a friendship and then pouring into each other e equally. Lord of Abundance. Feeling very abundant with one of your options. So one of your options really does it for you. You really, you really like that person. And you're becoming very clear of which option that is. Which person that you want to manifest who do you want to speak to honestly? Who you want uh, communication with? So connecting more with your root chakra and your throat chakra. So what's centering the reed right now is the empress. You're just sitting, valuing yourself, and you're attracting what you need to yourself. Things balance here. Daughter of the Mighty Ones. Your divine team are very powerful. You have high ranking in the spiritual realm. So I feel that you may have been dealing with a young fire sign, Leo Aries Sag, that was very impulsive, very in and out, very temperamental, really didn't know what the hell was going on with themselves, very insecure. I feel like you guys are coming out of that commitment, possibly with the Taurus energy, with the Hierophant. So the person that you've been laying with hasn't been the right person for you. This person may have been non-committal, or they just don't have um, spiritual knowing. They're not godly. They're not. They're not very wise within self. So you, it looks like you're getting rid of a commitment here. Coming out of a commitment with a possible Leo or Taurus. You're taming yourself uh, from going to this person. So the four of wands. So wanting a different type of relationship. The 
the devil with the Capricorn. Four of Wands. And the Queen of Cups. So it looks like you guys possibly are manifesting a relationship with the Capricorn that you're highly attracted to. You feel like bound to this person. There's like a lot of um, chemistry with them. I think the relationship that you have been in fed your addictions with this devil, devil energy. You fed your addictions. You may have picked up addictions. You, you went down a very dark path here. So whether you were involved in a lot of sexual acts, uh, alcohol, pills, obsessive thinking, um, control issues... There was something really dark that was in this relationship. Somebody could have been an energy vampire. I see a bat on the top of that card. You may be stepping away from a queen of cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, that's up on their head. That could have been that, that lustful connection. This person's really not balanced in their feelings. They... They're all over with their feelings. One day they're good. One day they're bad. Constantly pouring shit onto you. Thorns. Yeah, this person came with a lot of thorns. And they put you in a lot of illusions. They could have put you in a third party situation. Or they're wound up being a third party due to this person... Um, not having value in self. Their insecurities. Mm -hmm. King of Cups is in reverse. Bottom of the deck. So you could have felt like you were matching this person emotionally. There was emotional balance between the two of you. Come to find out this person's a serpent. They're just greedy and they're just sucking you. Of all your feelings, all your good feel energy. And they're not balanced. The Queen and King of Cups is in reverse. So you were both in that same spot. Probably when you met this person, you both weren't really clear with your intentions. You just wanted to express emotions to some, somebody. You wanted to connect with somebody emotionally. But now you're just like, is this really working for me? Or is there a lot of illusions? And have has this person put me in fantasy land? Romancing, love bombing, gaslighting here. May have been happening with that person. So the Ace of Swords and the Magician. You're seeing the truth. You're seeing that it was manipulation. You're seeing that you need to manifest something better for yourself. With the Hangman in reverse. You could have been connected to a Pisces. Sitting in boredom with this person. But you're coming out of boredom. You're coming out of being stuck. You're coming out of feeling like you got a target on your back. Like people are trying to knock you down. You're, you're becoming mighty. You're becoming stronger in your energy. You're coming out of disappointment. You're coming out of not liking what you're being given from your options. Could be a cancer. So the Hierophant. So there's definitely um, a partnership that's been closing out. You may need to drink more um, fortified foods. All right. So this Hierophant energy that you're coming away from. Uh, retracting your pentacles from this relationship. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, King of Pentacles in reverse. No longer um, being supportive to this person. No longer investing in them. No longer working hard for them. So you may have some of your money entwined with this person and you're pulling away. You're pulling that away from them. Chariot. Cancer. You're, so it looks like you're pulling away from this cancer. It looks like it's a water sign. 
Eight of Swords, because they put you in a lot of mental conflict. So you don't want to be in mental conflict with this person. You don't want to be the target of their misery because they're, they're emotionally unbalanced. I think this person that you're going towards, this possible Capricorn that you're going towards, this person is going to help you navigate away from your headspace, like away from that mental conflict and that stress. You could be meeting up with this person on the 4th of October. August 4th could be 4884 birth date. The last judgment. Yeah. So making a judgment call to place somebody in the coffin. Uh, it looks like and placing your own emotional immaturity. Throwing dirt on it. Making a judgment call on this person. You could live by the Verrazano Bridge. Or the Sunshine Bridge, Florida, or California Bridge. There's a major big bridge that you live by that you need to cross over. But I feel like you're putting dirt on it. Somebody connects with either Chinese or Japanese culture. All right, let's see what else. So, going from feeling stuck to unstuck, becoming truthful, understanding that this person, judgment, this one's not for you. This person ain't for you. Death card, Scorpio energy, this person's not for you. And they haven't been for you in the last maybe five years. Knocked you down, put you in conflict, put you in addictions, made you feel like death and despair. So a judgment call is needing to be placed. So karma is playing out. Taking care of this person. So you're ending it with them. Judgment tears twice. The last judgment. So there is no going back in reverse to this person. It's no more. You can't close your eyes to something that you're already aware of. You're already aware that this person ain't shit for you. So that's how you're getting unstuck. You're getting that awareness like. This person's really not truth with me. They're really not mature enough for me. Like, this is a child that I'm playing with. That's how it feels like with the Page of Wands, Page of Pentacles. It's like this is a younger energy that just doesn't have their shit together. So I can't play with you. <laughs> well, that's all I can do with you is just play with you. And I think you guys are wanting to go further with a Capricorn or an Earth sign. You're wanting to give investment to an earth sign. A Capricorn devil card is here again. Somebody that you're really attracted to. Not somebody that is going to try to manipulate and control you. Or hold back and be greedy with their time and attention and funds with you. Pisces energy getting unstuck. You're getting unstuck from someone and then you're getting stuck to someone. <laughs> That's what it looks like. I feel like somebody's been waiting uh, for you with the Four of Pentacles, just waiting quietly, holding back that they're wanting to invest, holding back the lust and sexual energy for you. But really, they're sitting back waiting waiting to get unstuck with you or waiting for you to get unstuck from your situation waiting for you to get out of your indecision or your anxiety that you're going through so somebody knows that you're going through it right now but you come out of it on top as you get rid of this insecure energy that's been around you this childlike energy Let's see you were left with your baskets empty this person could have left you with a lot of bills, a lot of responsibility. With the Seven of Pentacles. But you're looking to build yourself back up, build your finances back up, build your home back up. This Queen of Pentacles is here to give to you. I think this is a very giving energy. I feel like their heart is opened to come give you care and concern.
person's name may start start with an H or a D. Somebody feels childlike with you. This Capricorn feels childlike. They may feel like you had a past life with them. See, they're wanting partnership the way that you're wanting partnership. You got the four of wands in the same row coming out. Wanting partnership, wanting uh, loyalty, togetherness, laughter, growth with one another. So somebody's ready to grow a connection. Someone's bearing it all. Someone likes to be naked. I feel like you guys got uh, a lot of tension in your jaw. So just rub along the ear where the jaw muscle is. And just do the lion, Leo. Open the mouth and I, I, I back and forth. Release that tension. It's, it's coming from your neck too. So you may want to go for a massage to get rid of that stress. Or this person's wanting to give you a massage and make you relax. So, you know, you guys have been dealing with a lot of shocking moments, a lot of tower moments, a lot of chaos with this person that you're coming out of. A home is crumbling. They're, the structure is not built on solid ground. So it needed to collapse. You may be hearing about a building collapse. Okay. So you have a partnership going out. Yeah. You're coming out of a commitment. But you're coming out of a commitment, but I don't feel like you're that heartbroken. Yeah, maybe you're heartbroken out of it. I, I feel like you're you're coming away from heartbreak from it. So maybe this happened three to six months ago. Could be 63, 36, March 6th, June 3rd, um, 66, June 6th. I feel like even though you're coming out of commitment possibly with the Taurus, uh, you're moving away from the hurt the mental conflict, the sadness, and you're gaining victory. So you're standing up really proud. You're standing up tall. You're shining a little bit brighter now that you've gotten rid of either being placed in a third party, competition. Too many people have a lot to say about the relationship, your own uh, sneaky patterns, or if this person was lying, cheating, stealing on you, or you were doing that to that person. You're pulling away from the discomfort and um, the naysayers and the, the fighting. There's been a lot of fighting here. All right, good. So a new chapter is coming. I feel that this person that is coming in for you is very relaxed in their energy. You'll be able to sleep pretty well with this person. You'll be able to trust them. New romantic partnership begins. This person may have been coming in during the eclipse that happened, what, about a week ago? Let's see. Keep walking. Yeah, that's right. So this person, this new person saying, I won't hurt you. Um, your past person saying, keep walking. I don't know how to make this connection work. So there is no working on it. And you're like, I choose me. Or this person is saying, I choose me. I don't know how to work on this. And I can't be with you. So it's a wrap. Let go of the past. Let them go. They showed you all they could show you. They have nothing else to give to you. But this new person's like, I won't hurt you. I'll give you a nice, stable, loyal connection, respected connection, love connection. So somebody's really asking, give me a try. Like, All right, let's see what else. And they're a godly energy, a man or woman of God. So making sure that you're going towards people that 
are godly and that don't think they're God. 36, 63. There's a strong uh, religious belief here. Somebody's in their religion or their spirituality. So that's nice. Maybe you've never been with a person like this before. Book. See, they read the Bible. They read their scriptures. They may write books or like reading a lot. It's a lot of knowledge. Uh, June 10th. 26. This person's like a diamond. They shine very brightly. They may like to hang out at cool like coffee shops or I was thinking thrift shops. They could live in the city. They like to be outdoors. Like if there's outdoor cafes, they want to be there. Like put me in nature. So I feel that's where I feel like it's uh, probably earth sign. Sexy woman is coming in, bad bitch. So as much as this person is nurturing and everything, they're godly. They're intelligent. They like to do their research. 26, 26 on the clock. Um, they're badass. They don't take no bullshit from anybody. So um, you won't be able to run game or play with this person. Coffin. Yeah, you got to end that way of thinking, that perspective or that relationship that you've been in in order to get this woman here. Because they, they're just, they're, they're wanting to go up the mountain with somebody. 21 mountain. So this person is really looking for elevation. Somebody that you can elevate with. Uh, you could have a birth date of August 10th. August 6th. June 8th. So, so climbing to higher peaks. This person will uh, pique your interest and they will... Um, get you to sexually peak they'll give you nice orgasms <laughs> they will pile they're a pilot so somebody may work on planes travel agents um, flight attendants or they just have a higher you know a higher knowing Ooh. they want to direct and guide you towards the mountains so going up the mountain becoming stronger um, overcoming the obstacles. Clover. You could connect with a clover. You may have a four-leaf clover, three-leaf clover. Six is out here again. So 66, 86, two. And 26 is out here again, twice. February 6th. Somebody may have a lot of plants in their house. They like ivy and um, like plants that are able to grow along like trestles and stuff. So what's his fantasy here? What is this person's fantasy, whether woman or man? What are they fantasizing about to be with you? Um, the initials M and Z may represent something 42, 42, 32. Listen, if you're looking for a good eyebrow pencil, TikTok sent me this one, Eye Method Beauty, hair-like eyebrow pen. I'm gonna be doing an ad on it, so don't go buy it yet. It is great. Looks like, like hair strokes if you do it right. It's pretty good. But make sure you go darker than what your color is. All right. So his fantasy. So somebody may like your eyebrows. You may have really nice eyebrows. This person has eyebrows. Nice eyebrows. What's his fantasy? Why don't they want to say? Maybe you haven't done anything sexual with this person just yet. His fantasy, afternoon delight. Ooh, so you may be getting some afternoon dates with this person. They just feel like you are delightful. 
They like your silhouette. You have a really nice body. So somebody may be into photography or editing photos. Afternoon. Delight. Phone sex. All right. You may be talking nasty to one another. So you could be a little bit out of distance. Maybe you don't see this person very often. Vibrating panties. Ah, they want to buy you a vibrator and put in your panties and then control it. Chatterbait. Chatterbait fun. Chatterbait fun. I don't really know. I guess banter, sexual banter with this person, with the phone sex. So they really like... The sexual innuendos that you say to each other. That sexual banter. That, you know, that build up. They feel like it's a build up. They love the lips. They love your chin. They love when you grab their face. When you kiss them. They're wanting to grab those panties and put that vibrator in there. And vroom, vroom. <laughs> get you all hot and bothered. Okay. I see you. Oh, sinful desires. This is not even supposed to be in this deck. Sexually frustrated without you. So these both are on my web, on my inst. Uh, they're both on my TikTok. The picture of it is there. If you want to buy it, the link's there. Um, Teresa Nicole sent these to me. So this person sexually frustrated out you. They're not. They're not playing with nobody else. This person probably hasn't had sex in a hot minute. Dirty talk. But they love the, the dirty talk between the two. They love the chatter. They love the banter. They love the communication that you have with your mouth. They just love it. They love how dirty you can get with your mouth. Like you have a foul mouth. But they love it. <laughs> they, they are lo their mouth is watering because of... The way you verbalize things or you you make a story with your mouth and they're just like, wow. So you, you could be having phone sex with this person and then, you know, chatter, chatter, chatterbrate. Um, and you're telling them, okay, I want you to, you know, uh, what, could, <laughs> what could we say? Here? I want you to to stroke it a little harder or um, I want you to grab a hold of it and start pumping at it and you know load the boxers and you just you're just narrating <laughs> you're doing some kind of narration so you could be into um, erotica okay so somebody could be with that book here somebody may write sex novels or that's something that you may want to uh, look into because your imagination is a wondrous thing um, there's that massage so you may want to get an erotic massage from this person maybe I don't know you want to go in to get a rub and tug or you go to my Vietnamese lady and she massage your ass real nice uh, the massage place is a Korean. Oh no, that one's Vietnamese. A Vietnamese massage place on 34 Route 34. Very good, very good. In Matawan, they they rub your ass so nice. Hot stones, hot rags. They straddle you, pull your arms. <laughs> they do it all. So maybe you're interested. Maybe that's what you're needing since. Maybe you're holding your sexual energy back. You haven't had intimacy. You haven't had physical touch. So just go for a massage and just get that physical um, physical energy from a person. If, if it, even if it's same sex, it helps. I've done it. It helps when you feel like you haven't been touched, you know. It doesn't have to be sexual, just intimate. I think if you, when I'm with them... I hate this card. <laughs> I hate this card. So maybe that person that you're ditching, that's what they were doing to you or you were doing to them. They were thinking about somebody else when they were fucking you. Or when you were fucking somebody else, you're thinking about this person. Somebody's very edgy. I think I feel like somebody's very blunt. 
this is sinful desires. Show me what real love feels like. So that's the new energy. Show me what real love feels like because somebody doesn't know know it because they've been dealing with these children. They've been dealing with like younger energies that don't have a clue. There's so much immaturity and I feel like this is an older person. Like at this grand age, you should not be messing around with people that can't give you too much. Like, God the fuck? A name. So I think someone's seeing what they really need out of a partnership and what they don't need. That's that's how it feels to me. I think somebody's been in a twilight, like rose-colored glasses, not seeing things for what they are or what they were. Or maybe, you know, maybe you guys have grown since connecting with this person. You were at this level, but now you're just like, oh, I know too much. <laughs> I'm the wiser. I, I can't. I can't continue on with this. Sagittarius, the lower and higher self. Thank you. What did I just say? What did I just say? You were at this lower frequency. You were down here. So you connected with this person while you were down here. You were matching. You were upside down on their head, on your head. They were upside down on their head, and you were there. But now you're coming up. You're having a glow up here, and you're getting higher. You're getting to your higher self, and now you're looking down at your old you, and you're just like, I can't meet you back down there. I'm too powerful now. So that's what you're saying to this person. You're, you're beneath me because of your insecurities, because of your immaturities, because of all the lack and the sabotage you're doing. I can't box myself back in to becoming small because you've grown. You can't shrink your bones and go back to this inner child. Physically, you can't go back to this inner child. Yes, you've had to go back to this inner child and, and express and explore the wounds. But you can't fit yourself back into it. Look, you're a fucking giant now. You can't fit back into this mold. The mask is lifted. There's no going back to the ignorance. Is bliss. You know too much. So knowing too much, moving forward, you're going to gain somebody that's at your level that is big as you, powerful as you, as confident as you, that won't hurt you. Because you're not going to allow somebody to come in and hurt you now because you've built yourself up. You have that awareness. You're able to speak your truth, see the truth. Wow, this is too much. Um, what is this? Uh, Libra energy. Creating a new self. Oh, I, I just said this. I don't need the fucking cards. Don't question me, okay? If you know me in real life and you ask me for guidance, because this is a general read, all right? You take whatever resonates, you leave the rest. But if you know me in real life and I've given you advice and I've given you guidance, listen to the fucking guidance. And if you're watching me here, take the guidance. I'm not going to steer you wrong. I'm not going to steer you wrong. Creating a new self, you're looking at yourself in the mirror and saying, I need... To become a new version, a better version of me. I need to uplift myself. I need to get my ass fit. I got to get myself ripe. <laughs> I got I to gotta beautify myself. I got to shape up my beard. I got to get a new wardrobe. I got to do that self-healing for the next person that I go to. Leo. The naked self, I have to bear it all. I have to strip all aspects of myself. I have to strip myself away. I have to strip away these patterns, this karmic partner, these wounds. And I have to start protecting, protecting your feelings. Libra energy again here. So protecting your ass, protecting your energy, making sure that any, if anybody's going into that ass, 
that you feel safe and protected by that person that's coming into you that is balanced so you're gonna you know you're gonna hold tight to your feelings so 15 23 25 33 the pain hidden by luxury leo again here so leo i feel like you've been hiding behind pain you've been hiding behind luxury things you be hi hiding um you be <laughs> you be somebody has like broken english may speak a different language um you've been hiding behind work you, you've been throwing yourself into work and hiding the pain there um but this is only going to work for so long you're going to exhaust your options you're going to exhaust yourself out 47 on the clock um 48 so you're you're gonna have to put your hand down take your clothes off cleanse your soul and just embrace like embrace the pain absorb the pain and then alchemize the pain transmute it into something great for yourself <sighs> okay got a little bit more energy here not much um Somebody comes in nice and spicy for you. They come in like a hot tamale. That Capricorn. Get ready to be approached by a spicy Capricorn. You think this person is reserved? You have no clue. <laughs> That's how us Capricorns come up. We come up well reserved, but once you show us that we can trust you and you show us loyalty. Don't get me started. You probably never had such a sensual relationship with a person or intimacy and sex. Mm. Outside, we act like the boardroom, right? Respect, integrity, dignity, all that shit. But once we dive in, we're a good time. <laughs> we're the devil. Remember, we're the devil in the tarot deck. So we could go real dark. We could go into fetishes and stuff like that to please the partner. Pisces, 12. See, birthday is in December or on the 12th. Grabbing a hold of that koi fish. Going to that mountaintop. Pluto. This energy could have uh, been shifting in Pluto while Pluto, Pluto was retrograde. Scorpio, Leo, 22, 13. So enlightenment, somebody has a lot of happy energy. Capricorn, Sagittarius. Virgo. All right. So somebody pays attention to detail. Somebody wants to know how to pleasure you. What do you like? What don't you like? Uh, June 9th, June 19th, June 12th. Pisces, Jupiter's heavy. Sagittarius is heavy here. Uh, 918. Somebody may have um, highlighted hair, highlighted blonde hair or um, gray hair. Shades of gray. So 50 shades of gray. That's what I'm saying. This this little spicy Capricorn coming for you. All right. Lover's message. Shit. Come on. <laughs> yeah, they're like, come on. And <laughs> they want you to come all of them. Oh, shit. All right. <laughs> So you're going to be having a wet chest or a wet face or a wet something. Here we go. But it's balanced. The yin and yang energy, feminine, masculine energy. It could be a twin flame that you're coming involved with. Somebody's in uh, blue energy. Somebody's in depression right now, but it's becoming balanced. Love is not always about agreeing just for the sake of it. A great relationship is one that both supports and challenges one another. So this person is going to be very supportive of you. But they're going to challenge your shadows. 
but in a really good way for your growth. So they may trigger you to grow even more. All right. 45. It's got some initials. Oh, you know what I want to do? I want to do something. Hopefully I remember to do it. Hold on. Okay. So you may be in construction. You may be going to a zoo. You may be going to Goodwill or you're donating your clothes. Uh, I just heard Zimbabwe. Um, uh, four. Someone's coming in with a punch. Pow. It could be fist pumping you. Somebody's coming in with a hug for you. Somebody wears Uggs. You're becoming a we, so you're going into a partnership. Somebody has a P.O. box. Um, you're understanding the danger zone, all right? There has been a danger zone that you've been... Now you're wearing your hard hat and taking little baby steps out of it. 4, 44, April 4th. No longer taking cents. Uh, you could be traveling American Airlines or um, AA. You could be doing AA meetings, coming out, out of alcoholism. Um, SD, DS. Name could be Gus, Dwayne. You could have a Dewey appeal. Like 46 on the clock, 46, 46. Look up the name. Don't know. A Dewey. Dewy skin, very shiny. You may be renting a pod for storage to putting a pod in the uh, driveway, clearing things out. You're needing to clear things out, Zoe. Somebody's a stud. Somebody's like, sugar, sugar. They think you're just so sweet. Suge Knight. Washington, Wisconsin, could be from Europe. Mm. Somebody that you know may have passed. Um, when it was dead on arrival. So when you got there, it was too late, Esposito. Maybe in the last name, or you're going to an expo. Getting hired for a new position, or Espanol. You may be Spanish. Zara. Diaz. Dosa. Doza. Doza. Mendoza. August, birth date, August 4th. Somebody got swag. Swag. Z-A. Doza, D-O-Z-A. Maybe you're dozing away, sleepy. Could be sleepy. Somebody may need to go to the doctor. From Australia, in Pennsylvania, Arizona, Montana, all right, that's that. go into some symbols all right so you may want to visit new orleans you may want to shake your titties for some necklaces <laughs> all right so this gonna person's gonna be your bff fix that crown know that you are royalty and continue to hope 
pray and wish for this partnership to come in, that this new romantic cycle is going to be a good one for you. And let's go down the zodiacs. That's what I want to do with earth signs, but I didn't do it because I forgot about it. I almost forgot about it again. So let's go down the earth, the, not earth sign. See, I feel like you're dealing with earth sign. Let's go down the zodiac signs. If you're dealing with, let me pull up the zodiac signs because I always forget the sequence. And I have my little chart in front of me, but uh, it's blocked. Okay, so we're going to start with Aries. If you, if the fire signs are dealing with an Aries, you, Leo, it could be Leo, you're gaining some enlightenment. Some enlightenment about this Aries. All right, what's going on with the Aries? And yeah, there's no communication. There's no truth and clarity or honesty being spoken between the two of you. So you're seeing like you can't talk to this person freely. And that's the enlightenment like you see in this person is just hiding they don't want to be expressive they're dealing with their own depression their own issues cancer pisces um you could have been juggling this person or they were juggling you you're coming out of juggling so i feel like there is no communication there's no honesty between you and aries so don't hold your breath but you are rowing away from the mental conflict that you had with this person so that's good uh if you're dealing with a taurus energy oh, we're going backwards All right. taurus you could be um gaining some victory with this person they're seeing you above the crowd taurus uh but you may sabotage it you may be in sabotaging it or this person has knocked you down hmm So Taurus energy, it looks like somebody did sabotage. They knocked you down, but they're they're coming in um, because they see that you are going away from them. They see that you're overcoming what happened between the two of you. You're exploring something else and you're valuing yourself. And they, they like that you're having a glow up. So they are going to try to come back in and they're going to burden you devil car yeah they come in with a lot of control issues uh you'll be sitting in boredom and dissatisfaction if you take this person's offer back so i think you're seeing really clearly like no you put me in my head before i'm too mature too you know you're just gonna protect your energy away from this uh taurus influence aries influence and uh keep it pushing because it's too heavy for you all right we gotta speed up gemini energy fire signs dealing with a gemini so this gemini looks like they are nostalgic about you you could have been growing with this person for the last uh six years they see you as independent wealthy man wealthy woman transforming your life uh this person sitting in boredom they don't really like what they're being given they may be dealing with a cancer energy I'm not really happy with that person this person sneaking away from this cancer energy to come towards you to give you a commitment and to balance things with your Taurus Libra energy. This person's manifesting you this Gemini energy. All right, Cancer. Fire signs dealing with a Cancer. What's happening? Oh, there's tower moments. Shocking news. 53, 53 o'clock. They're being thrown out the burning building, Aries, Scorpio. All right, Cancer, dealing with the Cancer. Uh, Leo, you're gaining your strength back from dealing with this Cancer. I think this person puts you all up in your head. I think they put you at a crossroads. What's going on with this Cancer at this point? Uh, yeah, they're going to try to come in, put a little bit of effort, but they're just waving their passion stick. They have immaturity and insecurity. Yeah, I don't think you're really wanting to invest with this person. They're not going to give you enough. All right. Fire signs dealing with a fellow fire sign dealing with a Leo. Fire signs that are dealing with Leo. See a commitment. Possible Taurus. There's a commitment with a Leo. But... Eh, 
there's no enlightenment. This person's not an empress. They don't know how good they are. They don't show their goodness. They're not mothering. They're not nurturing. They're not showing. You don't feel very confident with this person whatsoever. Like there is no celebrations with this person. There is no stability with this person. They are not kind and compassionate to your needs, Leo. You need something more than this person. You need more. You need somebody that's going to nurture you. And this fellow Leo is not going to nurture you the way you need it. All right, Virgo. Virgo. Fire signs dealing with a Virgo. No forward movement with this Virgo. Uh-uh. Somebody's wanting to be single and do their own thing and transform their life. Um, this person feel felt bored in the connection. Or bored with what you were giving them. All right, Libra energy. That was quick. Libra energy. This person's getting out of their head. They were uh, sitting up at night thinking about this relationship with you. Libra fire signs. What's going on with this Libra? Libra is not trying to manifest anything right now. They're really indecisive about what the hell they want to do with you. So they're stuck. Uh, Scorpio's dealing with fire signs. Uh, there's been a lot of heartbreak with that one. With that Scorpio. Scorpio and fire signs. Yeah, there's that immaturity and security giving breadcrumbs. This person does see your value. Uh, but I feel like they were being a sly fox. They really weren't giving you what you deserve. And you're just like, nah, I'm not going to go for your toxicity. You're, you're toxic, motherfucker. You hurt me too bad. I'm not going to take the responsibility of you on me anymore. And I'm not going to sit in disappointment. So basically, you're becoming really clear. You're cutting off communication with that Scorpio. Sagittarius dealing with Sagittarius. Fire signs dealing with Sagittarius. The burden is being lifted possibly with the Sagittarius. Somebody is waiting and watching for their ships to come in. This person is maturing. They're bossing up. They do have quite a big ego here. They're in introspection right now, waiting. So they're planning. They're planning on how to come in a little bit more mature. Uh, a little less sexual. Okay, yeah, the passion stick is upside down. They know that they, are, they can't juggle you either. So they're coming in with more respect for you, less sexual energy for you, and uh, more strength and support for you. So that Sagittarius is looking good for you, fire signs. All right, Capricorn. Capricorn energy person wants to give you a love offer and they could be younger than you capricorn's dealing with fire signs all right so this person is emotionally balanced they have a lot of feelings they they, they don't get goo goo gaga they don't become overly emotional this person does want to have this partnership with you it fell over the um the four of wands and this person isn't trying to come in and sabotage it or, or knock you down or make you feel defeated or um this person doesn't want you to fear being vulnerable with them yeah they don't want to burden you they don't want to put heaviness they actually want to help you uh, release some of that heaviness or responsibility. So they may want to help you in your home life with your children. Um, coming out of... So this person may have had um, a high sex drive or some insecurities in, in the past. All right, uh, They're coming out of that. Um, this person may feel like you're greedy in your heart space that you're not going to be able to open your heart for them what happened with capricorn four of wands <laughs> matching the four of wands so that's what we were seeing during the read that you have a capricorn that's wanting to reciprocate give even give and take and they're wanting you to get out of your head about them all right so let's see aquarius fire signs dealing with an aquarius 
Okay, so Aquarius is stalking and watching. They want to come out of heartbreak. Sadness. All right. So they've been watching you, feeling hurt by what happened between the two of you. Fire signs and Aquarius. Uh, yeah, they're wanting communication. They know that you set boundaries. This person is feeling weak, though. Unable to communicate. Because you set boundaries with them and you cut them off. <laughs> they're wanting to be a lover. They're wanting to uplift. But they don't know what they have to do. They're sitting in boredom, dissatisfaction, isolation. They probably ghost you. So outcome with that person, they're going to stay caught in their head. They're really not going to talk too much. They're going to have insomnia and they're going to sit in their shit. Pisces. Fire signs dealing with the Pisces. So I feel like this Pisces is also not sleeping well at night. All right. They're not um, well rested. This King of Cups. Cancer Pisces Scorpio. They're trying to become more emotionally balanced. Pisces dealing with fire signs. Um, this person's lacking passion. They may be pulling back their sexual energy from the Queen of Cups. Wait, who are we on? Fire signs. So the Queen of Cups is pulling back um, passionate energy passionate sexual energy or taking action not taking much action towards you as before they may have been coming in like celebrating drinking a lot with this person but now they're holding back their investment so this person is not going to give you um, stability they're just here for a good time there's no forward movement with this person. Person could it be in a third party connecting with someone else that has them caught up in their head. So it looks like you're in a third party. Possibly this person is with an empress. Taurus energy, Libra energy, Leo energy. So I feel like you fire signs are going to come to the clarity that this person isn't choosing you or isn't treating you like the empress. And not seeing you as their their uh, husband or their wife. Like there's no future investment uh, there with that person. See? Seeing that there is heartbreak. So there's going to be heartbreak that happens with this person because they're thieving. This person may be in a whole other connection here with the Ten of Pentacles. This person may be married, long-term partnership have kids, and they're thieving. They're thieving. They're holding back. They're greedy. So they're burdening. Burdening you. All right. So that's that's how it's going down with the Pisces energy. All right, guys. You're coming out of indecision either way with whoever the hell you're dealing with. That's what I got. Hope you enjoyed the read. I hope it did give you some clarity to your situation. I appreciate all likes, donations, kind words you give me on a daily basis. I am live every Thursday night, 7 p.m. Eastern time here over on YouTube and over on TikTok. Everything's below. Um, if you're interested in Qigong Pilates, if you're in the Middlesex County area in New Jersey, hit me up. I'll give you a free day pass to take my classes. And um, I have a link tree link in my... I have an Amazon link and my Linktree link if you'd like to purchase something for the channel. I like getting gifts and I'll talk to you again soon. Bye, guys.